Pediatricians at one healthcare facility just had their biggest and hairiest patient yet. This is something I do every day with children at Nemours, and to be able to actually do it on a gorilla is a chance of a lifetime in my opinion. I don't know that I ever get this opportunity again, and it really just took my breath away. When zookeepers at the Jackson Zoo suspected one of their gorillas, Kombuka, might have hearing loss, they took her to experts. The zoo says gorillas can show signs of deafness a lot like children do, such as not responding to their names. Testing the animal's hearing was new for these doctors and was the first documented gorilla hearing test of its kind. When you walk up to that table and that gorilla is massive right there and you're touching that gorilla, I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. A series of exams confirmed Kombuka suffered from hearing loss. Well, unfortunately, we can't restore the hearing to the gorilla as we do in children. Instead, zoo staff says it will work on communicating with Kombuka in new ways. We will continue to work on helping her improve her quality of life by continuing to have the keepers using visual cues during her training sessions. Allow her to integrate well within the troop and be a good mom, hopefully. That's our intention. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Kelly Nealon.